I tricked you there. You didn't even think I was there. Oh, uh, it's because Rebirth has... Oh, it didn't crash. It just took five seconds to start up. That is unacceptable in this modern era. Uh, Judas run? No problem. We're on to our blue baby run now. I'm ready. I'm gonna shoot the poop. There was no penny inside. Oh, most people don't know that no penny in the first poop is a really good luck charm. It's statistically proven. RBDDLLDG. It's the rare zero number um, string, which scares me a little bit. But what doesn't scare you makes you weaker, is what I've always said. So let's proceed here. Another penny in that one. No. Uh, if you're gonna have a truly lucky run, if the run is tr truly blessed, the poop does not pay out until the fourth room. So I don't want it to pay out on this room. This will be bad. Oh, thank God. Almost ran into trouble there. Uh, or maybe sometimes you just don't get any poop on the fourth room at all, which most people don't know. Most people don't know this, but that is actually the luckiest of all. Okay. I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm a little scared that I took so much damage, but the fourth room did pay out with money, which is almost the same as the poop paying out with money. There was just an invisible poop, which if you think about it, is probably the best poop of all. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being so silly. How's it going, everybody? I hope you enjoyed the Judas run. The Judas run was a little, you know, blasé, if I will. It's kind of like a little simplistic, but we got the job done. The Blue Baby run, I have a pretty bad track record with Blue Baby. Obviously, like, a month and a half ago, Blue Baby ended my... Original streak and annoyed the crap out of me. This uh, seems to be like it, it's not a curse of the, of the uh, labyrinth, but the floor layout is such that it makes me feel like a curse of the labyrinth might be plausible here. Um, I do want to explore as much as possible. Okay, I want to immediately go to the shop because I've taken some really really terrible damage. I do not feel smart about that at all. Uh, it's been a day of uh, of interesting mistakes. I've got to admit, Kate and I saw Inside Out this afternoon. By the way. Heartily recommended, maybe my favorite Pixar movie, but that's a different situation altogether. We were late, like by the time I was, uh, you know, parking by the movie theater, it was like uh, the, the show time for the movie, but we got in, bought our tickets, um, got into the theater, and it hadn't even started yet. We were like, oh, this is amazing, like they must have delayed it by like five minutes or something. And then the trailers started, we watched all the trailers, and then, you know, it opened with a, an exterior, exterior establishing shot of a building, and then you know, Michael Douglas walks in, and the people at the table go, Mr. Stark, your findings are blah blah. I'm like, oh fuck, Kate, we're seeing Ant-Man again by accident. So we had to leave the theater, and we walked out, and we walked into the Inside Out theater, missed like the first 20 minutes, but still, as the hardiest recommendation I've ever given a movie. Don't worry about the first 20 minutes. I would describe them as non-essential, but you probably do want to see them. Um, yeah, Inside Out, if you can still find it in theaters. This is Northern Lion with your, you know, seven weeks after a movie's uh, landed in your multiplex, giving you reviews. What can I say? It was cheap day. For real, though. I think it was, uh... I think it's Tuesday cheap day everywhere. I assume that that's just like a universal... Well, not universal, but like at least a, a, a countrywide phenomenon or continent-wide phenomenon that's like Tuesday is the day that not many people would go if there were not discounted tickets which is what I thought I was like we can go whenever we want to see inside out what's the best time yeah how about a, a cheap matinee in downtown Vancouver in the middle of summer vacation turned out to be pretty full if I do say so myself and I feel stupid we should have gone to see like an 11 p.m. showing on fucking the end of Labor Day weekend but the, you know I gotta call out the audience they were really good People always have these horror stories of being like adults and going to see movies that are, are for kids. Um, yeah, I mean, we do want this, even though it's only a full... Wait, did we get two full spirit hearts there? That's amazing. Uh, that is not amazing, though. Pentagram was great, by the way. I've been talking about Inside Out instead. But um, people are always talking about these stories like, oh, man, don't go see Inside Out. There's going to be so many kids there. You know, don't go see Minions. I didn't see Minions. Not that I'm worried about my street cred or anything like that, but, you know, for example, don't go see Minions, there's gonna be a lot of kids there at summer vacation. I understand that a lot of people have had bad experiences with, um, you know, young kids getting scared or something in movie theaters and, you know, making a lot of noise and crying and stuff like that. This is a fun time right here, isn't it? Um, but I gotta shout out my theater. It, they were they were very well behaved, thank you very much. If you saw the, the 410 showing of Inside Out at the Scotiabank Theater on Burrard Street in downtown Vancouver. Thumbs up to you, Northern Lion says, you're probably a cool uh, person. Except for, you know, there were some tense moments and one of the ladies kept munching popcorn really loudly during the tense moments. And I'm like, okay, well that's a bit, that's like a one out of 10 on the movie theater offensive scale. But because everyone else is being pretty damn near civilized, you're on thin ice, lady. Anyway, I digress. I don't even like, Talking in the movie theater, at this day and age, I'm like, everybody knows you shouldn't be talking loudly in the movie theater. It makes you look like a goddamn asshole. Nobody thinks you're in the right. 
But I'm I'm becoming or I'm becoming that asshole who's a crusader against using your cell phone in the movie. Nothing worse, man. It takes you so far out of the moment to just you know. This is not a real line from Mad Max. But like Max, you gotta stop before you go completely mad. This is the climax of the film. Oh shit. And then um, you know someone pulls out their cell phone. Oh fuck, Jennifer, Instagram me. Got to get back to her right away. Don't worry, honey. I'll get milk on the way home. It's not that important, man. You're watching something. Well, let's put it in two different ways. First, you're watching something that people spent like a hundred million dollars in two years of their lives to make. They're very talented individuals. Usually, I mean, you made the decision to come here. You're, you're probably not forced against your will by some kind of governmental organization. Just watch the movie. And also, you know, you got people that are, uh, you know, you're ruining the experience for people around you. Just don't be so selfish, you goddamn asshole. And I'm being a goddamn asshole, but I'm being a righteous goddamn asshole. There's a very slight but uh, meaningful difference there. Anyway, go see Mad Max as well. That movie was hot fire. How's this run going so far? Um, amazingly, the fact that it's not going amazingly necessarily. But it's not going badly. You know, we got two damage upgrades from our boss fights. But what I was going to say is that amazingly, the fact that I took so many dumb hits uh, of damage has not really impacted me at all. Because we didn't have a deal with the devil to worry about. So... We, uh, it doesn't really matter to us that we're at two and a half hearts right now. Of course, it would be awesome to have more just for survivability's sake, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the fact that we're still alive, and we've got a great damage boost here in the form of the pentagram and growth hormones, so as far as damage goes, we're fine on this run, but as Blue Baby, you know, damage is one side of the coin, health is another important one. I'm not going to say that it's, it's more or less important. But uh, I will say that Blue Baby is the only character apart from the Lost that technically starts at zero HP. Zero refillable HP, at least if you want to get technical. So um, I, I would very much like to be able to pick up some more, but I know that there's a chance that we have... Lucky me. Uh, there's a chance that we have a... Um... What is the two balls of steel? I was going to say two hierophants. There's a, <laughs> there's a chance that we have uh, a balls of steel pill in our rotation. If we have a Balls of Steel pill in our rotation, you know, that would be very valuable because we do have the bottle of pills right now. I would also very much like to uh, just replace bottle of pills with anything else, maybe? Deck of Cards is a lot better because we know what's coming. It has like a little bit of a, well, not really much lower of a ceiling in terms of usefulness, but uh, much higher of a floor. Like if you get a bad card, just don't use it, you know, no, no skin off your scrot. Um, if we get a little baggy, we can hold two pills, but it doesn't allow us to... No, it doesn't mean we get exclusively good pills. That's how little I use that item. So I feel like, yeah, sure, let's take deck of cards. We got a chariot card. Kicks the shit out of uh, all of the pills that we've gotten so far. A little bit expensive, and it cost us uh, some love from our donation machine. And it made it so we couldn't buy uh, the spirit heart. This might end up being kind of important as we get further into the game, but for now, this is nice, and I'm, I'm relatively happy with it. Okay, um, boss rush is a, a far distant dream right now. The real piss off for where we're at on our run right now is that we have no means uh Okay, let's try. We're fast enough. Um, we have no means of getting a deal with the devil present. I'm actually, you might think that I'm disappointed with the way that this room went. I'm actually very happy. The less of these guys I have to deal with, the easier this room is going to be. So even though we didn't quite kill everything, I'm fine with it. Um, and I swear I'm fine with it. He thinks the lady doth protest too much, but anyway. Um, oh! That was hopefully just half a spirit heart worth of damage, but I'm not sure. I just realized now that we have Curse of the Unknown, I almost took a little extra bonus hit there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good position for us to be in here. Don't really want to go to the curse room. We don't have deal with the devil precedent. It's alright. There's a lot of good defensive angel items, which honestly might be a, a little bit more up our alley right now. Trinity Shield, Holy Mantle, the Relic, the Miter, any of those showing up is, is very important. And of course, if we could just get one of the, the Angel Room's like high-octane offensive items, then that's even better as well. But um, for now, I think we don't have to worry about these like overarching consequences, although it might be nice. Um, or might be prudent, let's say. One of the things we should be worried about, perhaps the only thing we should be worried about, is uh, making sure that we don't take any more dumb damage. I've been pretty bad about it, but I've also been a little bit unfortunate, I think. Not many uh, tinted rocks, or at least I haven't seen any tinted rocks. And, uh, okay, thank God. Uh, apart from that, you know, no random spirit art drops, I think. 
the lard pickup was the only HP we've gotten all game, and we fought a lot of asshole champions. Some of the damage should have been avoidable, but some of the damage we were pretty much predestined to take. Lovely. Suicide King. Alright, double Duke of Flies. Uh, I've never been happier to have more damage than usual right now. Because this room, and it's not even just double Duke of Flies, it's double champion Duke of Flies. This boss fight would actually be a total pain in the dick if we were, um, I don't know what happened to those flies there. Uh, it would be a total pain in the dick if we did not have the kind of potency that we have right now. We're lucky that we do have the ability to kill those, you know, big flies, laser bullet flies, and two hits in the regular flies in one hit. We can kind of keep them at a distance, and then the Duke of Flies himself, he only takes like 10 or 15 hits before actually dying, which... Is not bad at all. This is actually a pretty good boss fight. Come on, Pentagram, don't fail me now. Deal with the devil? No. We get the box. The box did not give us a spirit heart. It gave us a pretty fly. And a high priestess card. Uh, which we should take instead of Suicide King. <laughs> a trinket we can't use and a form of HP we can't use. I'm not particularly thrilled about this. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta play with the cards that you're dealt, unfortunately. Lots of items that would have been better for us, but probably a few that would have been worse as well. The High Priestess card is good, and oh man, uh, the consumables, maybe we'll be able to turn those into more than they look like they would turn into right now. But if we don't get a deal with the Devil soon, or a deal with the Angel soon, and start racking up some even higher damage or more defense, this run is looking like it could go nowhere. Another great item, of course, would just be um, uh, Dark Bum. If we can get Dark Bum, that gives us a huge leg up on the competition. Our speed is actually pretty good. I guess growth hormones helps out with that, so... Enemies that charge us down don't really have too much of a, a chance to kill us. But this one is like the polar opposite of the last run where we were, you know, Judas, so we knew we had deals with the devil, and the first one paid out with precedent, and... We were largely, like, pretty safe from the get-go. This one is a little bit more up in the air, which I like because, you know, it means that our personal skill has a chance to make or break things. Of course, you know, we're only really going to notice that if it breaks things, because it's kind of expected that it should make it at this point after like 1,500 episodes, but I, I relish the thought, you know? Oh, man, teleport is just not where we need it to be right here. Uh, maybe a little bit more money so we can get a blood bank on the next floor. That's where I insert the laugh track because that's a joke. Ha 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 ha! And maybe later we'll do a callback to that joke and I'll bring back the laugh track that is like one octave up and it has the dude like slapping his knee and then the audience laughs at the dude slapping his knee because they're self aware. This isn't the first sitcom that Jennifer's seen. Down, 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 down. Alright. Please don't have a stone chest inside of this room. Okay, that's good. Oh, well, I don't have any bombs, so this ends up being only worth one spirit heart, but it, it doesn't fuck up our precedent. Might as well take out found pills. At least it's not a bad trip. That's like, we got a spirit heart for two bombs, which I think is, let's be honest, beggars can't be choosers right now. And up to the next floor, we do have a chance of getting an arcade. I guess if we got a judgment or a blood bank, maybe there's a chance we get, uh,. That's suicide. Fuck it. Let's take Suicide King. You never know if we get some extra lives. This could be more fun. Just make sure to not accidentally hit Q. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, we could get, like, a chariot card or something for one of those rooms that would make it work for us. We also, we could become Dark Judas on this run. Like, that could be in our next deal with the Devil, so we want to try for it. Obviously, I want to do that room. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of want to uh, save it a little bit. I wonder if that's our secret room there. I would love to go to a second curse room for free. Hanged Man. Well, that is not the secret room. I do want Hanged Man. Um, we could use Hanged Man to only take half a Spirit Heart of damage. Oh man, that would have soiled it right there. Uh, we can use Hanged Man to only take half a Spirit Heart of damage on the way into that uh, curse room. Let's do so. Oh, we got Black Candle, so it more than paid for itself and also gave us the extra... Uh, Curse immunity, so that was well worth it. I'm glad I didn't skip out on that. Let's take that as a sign that we should go open these red chests here and pick up a guppy item, pick up a guppy item, pick up a guppy. Okay. Two bombs, though, and a little bit of extra money. And I always forget that we end up fighting freaking uh, Mega Fatty here. This is the fight that ruins many a boss rush run. I gotta say that this is actually, just because of Mega Fatty and the time at which you fight him, this is probably the most difficult out of all the boss trap rooms. Yes, you know, you get ones later that are like Chubb, Loki, and two monstros or something like that. Chubb, Loki, two monstros. Chubb, Duke of Flies, two monstros. Something along these lines. But, 
you are usually doing a little bit more damage by then, so it doesn't matter as much that you're facing three bosses. Uh, whereas Mega Fatty, you know, you might have only had one or even zero of your super unlucky deals with the devil by now. And then Mega Ma! Mega Ma, I feel bad. I feel like I've been doing very poorly against Mega Ma lately. He shouldn't be hitting me as much as he's hitting me. But he does hit me as much as he hits me. Alright, we spawned him super far away. Might seem like it's not going to make that much of a difference, but it gives you just a little, you know, that fraction of a second extra to help you dodge the purple fire, which is really where I've been, like, eating shit, basically, uh, is, is dodging this, like, circular fire. And, of course, dealing with the leapers as well. That one's kind of annoying as well, but you know what? It's, he actually gets countered pretty hard by uh, Pretty Fly. It just destroys the fire as it comes in, which is really nice. As if it was a bullet or something instead of a beam. Which I guess it's not really a beam, it's concentrated energy, which is kind of a beam, but I don't know. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to get into the physical, you know, manifestations of this stuff. Okay, I almost used Suicide King thinking it was the chariot. Good start to this room. Speed is high enough, I should just be able to walk backwards and take these guys out. I hate to say it because we still don't have deal with the devil precedent, but I would love to pick up Lump of Coal, man. I feel like, you know, our shot speed is decent enough that we can get away with, uh... Getting a nice damage bonus there. It's free. It doesn't cost us any HP. Um, and that's unfortunately still kind of a concern for me. But we'll see if maybe the shop or library alleviates that concern. Although I'd be a little surprised. Should blow these up. Liberty cap. Well, it's good. And you know, to be honest with you, I, I sort of expected this. Steam sale would actually be really nice right now. The money would give me some purchasing power. Steam sale would give me, like, permanent purchasing power. And it just gave me the money. Judgment. Okay. Not demon judgment. So we do have, like, a little bit of a, a, an advantage here. Uh, I guess, you know, HP is one thing. It could fuel a deal with the devil if we're lucky enough to get one here. And then we're lucky enough to have it actually, like, give us the option to buy something for our HP. But it also could could have given us a mapping item, which I probably would have preferred because it's a little bit more permanent, but sure. I can't complain. We didn't take any damage. That's that's new for us. No Tinted Rock here. I'm sure I've missed Tinted Rocks. You know, I, I watch the chat when I stream, contrary to popular belief, and uh, I always see people calling out Tinted Rocks that I didn't even see. And then I go back and go, oh, that was stupid of me. I go back and go, oh, look, a Tinted Rock. Glad I came back here. And people go, Northern Lion, you're not fooling anybody. And I go, I think I fooled some people. And they go, why are you saying your master plan out loud? And I would say, well, they wouldn't stop me even if they tried. And then, oh, thanks for the second secret room. Uh, it'd be awesome if it was just a black heart at this point, because we really just want to get something to trade to the deal with the devil. Ooh, this could be even better. I'm going all the way down. Samson's Lock versus Liberty Cap. I'll take Liberty Cap. Broken Magnet versus Liberty Cap. I'll take Liberty Cap. Alright, that's uh, very frustrating. Got a bomb and a key, so we basically paid 8 cents for a key. That's a pretty shit deal. But we're lucky enough to be fighting the Hollow, and what is this? A blue rock! That paid out with a regular chest? And then a half red heart? It's the worst haul! We found it! Even worse than a golden chest when we have zero keys. Because at least a golden chest when we have zero keys has potential. This has no potential. It, it's already, its potential has been realized and it's shit. Um, we have the Relic. The Relic is great. Fuck your Mega Satan aspirations. We're not doing that today. The Relic is an, an amazing item for us. It doesn't compromise our deal with the Devil uh, possibilities, or our um, precedent is what I'm trying to say. Um, and it gives us more Spirit Hearts, which is exactly what we need. So, I'm not very happy with myself on that one. Uh, so, it's incredible. We do not have the kind of run right now where I want to be fighting angel statues and bleeding like two or three spirit hearts against them for a chance to fight Mega Satan, who at this point is going to outclass the shit out of us. Un unfortunately, as much as I would love to do so, I, I don't think the time is right for us. Did I pick up an item that makes Tinted Rock shit or something like that? The other Tinted Rock contained a troll bomb and a single key. This is some of the worst Tinted Rock action I've ever seen in my life. There's like an 80% chance they contain spirit hearts. Um, BBF. Even Golden Chest will be fine for me. BBF is fine. It'll hurt me sometimes when I don't want it to. Um, that's that's life, man. Uh, we're one room away from getting another card. The BBF pickup, like, I don't want to make it sound like it's a huge deal, but it's nice. It's it's better to have it than not have it if your damage kind of sucks. It's a little bit like Bob's Brain. Most of the time, you should be able to dodge out of the way. You know, if you know what direction it's going to be going upon you entering a room. Looks like it's always going to our right. Looks like it's always going to our right. 
Do you hear me? Do you feel me? It's always going to our right. Uh, I am going to just keep myself as far to the left as I can unless dodging precludes me from doing so. Hermit versus Suicide King. This is always a weird one because, um, you know, the Suicide King has the potential to be more interesting. Thank you, Relic. Um, but the Hermit has the potential to be a lot more useful. So I, I have an allegiance to myself. If I had Brimstone Guppy right now, I would be taking the Suicide King card hoping for respawns. But we did that for one entire run like two runs ago and it, nothing ever came of it. That vindicates me on a run where I'm having a little bit of trouble. I'm struggling just a little bit. Vindicates me, I think, towards being like, you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to do us here. Allows us to walk into this room, open up all three of these, and then I was going to say teleport out, but um, we don't, we can't teleport out now. Um, Guppy's Paw is literally worthless to us except as a, uh, as a devil deal. Like, as a Guppy item, I should say. Variety of different teleportations. Hilarious. Um, I don't really want to do the deal with the devil, or the, the boss fight until I'm confident that we can survive a deal with the devil. Oh, never mind, we already got our deal with the devil, so... It is probably something I should do right away, because we're here, and I don't think we're going to get, you know, too much stronger that it warrants, you know, completely ignoring the boss room for now. We might as well pick up an item if we can. Uh, I'll also try to blow these up in the interest of getting another spirit heart. Relic is close to paying out. It's got to be. And... PhD. It's a shame. If I'd known PhD would show up, I might have been a little bit... Ooh, that's so good. Might have been a little bit more likely to keep a bottle of pills. I don't know. It doesn't matter for now. We're, we're starting to gain a little bit of traction. I think you can feel it. That helps out a little bit. Let's go fight the boss with this Burkano rune. Um, we're starting to gain a little bit of traction. Even though we were, we're at like a one streak because I'm an idiot and lost in a Zazel run on the NLSS, uh, I feel like I can feel myself playing streak level Isaac again. Af even after that first floor where we took, you know, awful damage. That's, that's rarely... The difference between a win and a loss, it can be on certain Eden runs, but mostly it's, it's you know, your overarching dodging skills and, and decision-making process that, that help you out there, unless you just get super carried. So, I'm feeling like we're, we're playing a little bit of a better game here. Good fundamentals. Taking a lot of damage against Mask of Infamy, because it's Mask of Infamy. That's exactly what I was hoping for there. Uh, I imagine... That we're probably going to be finishing this fight by waiting for BBF to show up again. Because it's annoying. This is fine. I don't love the shot speed. I do love the extra HP. Let's try not to lose it right away. Interested in getting PhD. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 15 cents for all good pills. And moreover, you get one good pill right off the bat. You know, you get kind of like a little bit of a reverse down payment you get an instant rebate so would you I, I would pay like five to ten cents for a good pill even not knowing what pill it is just knowing it's going to be good so you already get like a pretty sweet discount there whipworm versus liberty cap now we're talking but uh i'm still gonna stick with whipworm spider butt versus deck of cards this is like I'm so sick of getting spacebar items, but I think we stick with deck of cards because the potential for runes and stuff like that um, is, is too intriguing to pass up. Um, whereas with spider, but we know, you know, what you see is what you get. I like runes, or I have a soft spot for items that uh, don't have very long charge times, but they got to be good as well, and I'm not sure that spider butt totally fits the bill there. We should also... Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of the way of that. Uh, try to go, like, next level and avoid shooting enemies that are going to just die to uh, BBF anyway. That That is getting a little bit ahead of myself. This run is really making me work for it, and I gotta be honest, I don't appreciate it one bit now. I know earlier I was like, this is exciting, now I'm, I'm over it. We only got one bomb, we might as well try to get all of them. I'm happy it got two, sometimes we place it... In just the wrong spot, you end up getting zero. Of course, in the right spot, you can end up getting four, but... That's it's less of a concern. Okay, so we'll Stars card out uh, on that one. I know we just got the Stars card, but we have a Hermit card waiting for us back there as well. And, trust me, no one is more annoyed with the fact that this floor is taken forever than I am. But, we, we do have some positives that we can look to on this floor. HP's gone up. We uh, picked up a guppy item. That's pretty much it, you know. And then the, the minor stats upgrades from... Oh, 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 oh. I was really hoping that it would get some 
uh, skulls and thus some cards, but um, yeah, we're gonna get PhD as long as we can get one more bomb or two more cents. You'd expect that's relatively likely and also, you know, a pretty nice advantage. That's... How did they dodge it? How did they dodge that? That blew my mind. They all went in exactly the wrong direction. Okay. Well, we got at least one more card. Well, let's be honest. At most, one more card on this floor. That is almost certainly our secret room. Has a really good secret room vibe. Death card. Well, we're probably going to take... Oh, that was dumb. Probably gonna take Hermit down to the next floor. A little bit more valuable than death. And we're not gonna get any other bombs. That's a huge disappointment, man. Hey! We got a Spirit Heart from our other pill. Hmm. Well, uh... I guess we'll shoot all the fires and the poops in the hopes of getting PhD. Without that, though, barring a kind of a miracle... We're moving on to the next floor with no PhD, so... Kind of another semi-useless floor, but we tried. Maybe a little ill-advised to use all of our uh, bombs to blow up the blue fires. It happens, though. And I can't get that. And, well, I guess that's that. that is this, this is Necropolis 1, so we're getting close to the mom fight. A couple of different options. We could teleport out of the mom fight after it's over to use Hermit Card. I kind of don't understand the purpose of that. Probably what I'll try to do is use Hermit to get out of a curse room or a, a mob trap room or a boss trap room. That seems to be like a pretty canonically decent way to... Canonically is not the word. A pretty Konami-ish way to get out of things. Oh, there's a, a boss trap room. And it exploits one of the, you know, very few things that is awesome about being Blue Baby. Namely that you can get into uh, mob trap rooms even if you have 12 hearts. What you can do is literally any other character if they're also spirit hearts. But, you know, you gotta... You gotta look for the good stuff where it is. Range up. Okay, don't get hit. Telepills. Um, why don't we use Hermit? I know he's already half dead. We might as well use Hermit and then Telepills out. Um, sorry, Telepills later. Still no bombs, but I would, I'm would. i torn because Blue Candle is really nice, obviously. Blue Candle's great. But the map is also great and it's passive. It would let us keep our... Um, Keep our deck of cards. Is the deck of cards worth that much? Honestly, not really. The map is really nice, though. That's what I'm... Like, it's all because the map is half-decent. If it had only been Blue Candle in the jar, it wouldn't have even been close. I'd be like, yeah, let's take Blue Candle. But because there's an alternative, it's fucking on my human psychology. The game is Malcolm Gladwelling me, and now I'm not sure what the hell I want. Maybe I just buy nothing. Maybe I just donate my money instead. Is that what you want? Not you out there. I mean, you as in the game. The, the digital you. Uh, I only got hit once, which I'm going to count as a victory there. I could have gotten out of it without getting hit at all, but... Let's be honest. That did not happen. Let's not live in a fictional universe. The Magician. The Magician has just sealed the fate, I think, of us here. We are going to take Blue Candle. And this cements me as the world's biggest yellow belly coward. But uh, the reason I'm going to do this is because our damage is just, it's not good enough. We got two, oh, 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 maybe we'll get both. Don't mind if I already just did that and maybe get this, nah, we don't need the Spirit Art. Let's donate. This donation machine is very kind to us on this uh, run. Um, we, we got no damage upgrades past the first two floors and a lot of item rooms that just piss me off. So I think it's not the worst idea in the world to, to do us on this run. You know, you do you, Northern Lion. You do you. I don't understand what this phrase means. Uh, I, I repeat it in the hopes that one day someone will hear my siren SOS call and they will uh, illuminate me as to the 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 meaning of this, this rhetoric. Why am I so fast on this room? I guess Liberty Cap gave me some bonus to speed that I didn't realize until it was already over. Still have a big room with... Um, oh, this is actually really good. We have a big room with two different connections coming off of it. One of which will lead to our item room, the other one? Who knows? I would love a double key room, actually. We have the keys necessary, and, you know, I'm not, strictly speaking, very attached to the run we're on right now. The other one was an arcade, which we'd be hoping for a, um, if anything, I guess, we'd be hoping for a judgment. There's not really much we can do. We'll use our last penny on it just to see. And then we'll go to our item room, and then we'll, we'll fight our boss, and honestly, this is where things are going to start to get interesting. Um... You know, I'm really interested in getting a deal with the devil. This is this is high on my to-do list. 
I probably should have been hit there. Um, we can afford to deal with the devil. The relic's paying out pretty nicely. You know, things in our life are going positively right now. That's a little too little too late on that. Ten bombs? It could be worse, honestly. But, I mean, this, this caps off some of the worst item rooms. Uh, as far as, like, a... a a runs worth of item rooms go that we've had in a long ass time like this is just terrible I also feel like the magician is not that valuable so we'll take telepills with us and I guess my hope with telepills is maybe we'll use it immediately on the womb one to po uh, possibly get closer to our boss or maybe get an error room that could give us some items now I'd hate to miss out on the deal with the devil on the next floor but if we get an error room it might be worth it and I don't know where else I'm gonna use it like I'm not gonna save telepills into the uh, maybe I will save telepills into the chest now that I think about it like we don't have any other uh, any other cards coming down the pipeline that we can you know be aware of so I recognize I've been oh, I've, I've been saved uh, a few times I did get hit there where were you on that one uh, pretty fly problem is uh, I'm trying to dodge out of the way of the path of the bomb because I know that the bomb is going to explode if the foot touches it, so I want to avoid this if possible. We do get a deal with the devil. Obviously, we're taking Polaroid on this one. And we have a very interesting setup here. I think I'm going to take neither, but I'm thankful for the pretty fly. The range up's fine. Um, I don't think Gimpy's worth it. If we had a higher luck stat, I might be persuaded or persuadable. But I don't think we can afford to take Gimpy here. Utero 1, and it's looking large. Telepills has taken us to the big room. I know I said I was going to save it for the chest. You should know by now that I have no self-control. <laughs> once, I, once I see that piece of candy, it is getting consumed. Shit got too real there for a minute. I had a flashback. No, um, I'm just strapped for time, and I would rather bring up something awkward. Strat for conversation, I should say, and I'd rather bring up something awkward than admit that uh, I have a little uh, mental dullness today that's keeping me from just coming up with great conversational threads on the fly. You see that dodge, though? That was pretty slick. Okay. Hopefully we get another card that makes me feel like I did the right thing by getting by using telepills. I mean, we already skipped a few rooms, but the thing, you know, the thing about skipping rooms is that we're never going to know if it was the right idea to skip rooms unless we watch someone else play the seed because we're not going to know what's in those rooms. Oh, finally. Uh, but I'd really like to see a super expensive double guppy deal with the devil here. That sucks, but this is probably the right way to go. Like, we know we can afford it. And it's really kind of like our last... Oh, man. Doug Flutie-style Hail Mary shot at, uh, at getting a lot of damage before the, the breakneck part of the game. So... That would be big. Obviously, we could take a shortcut and just get, like, Brimstone or Mom's Knife or something like that and not require two items, but those are the kind of things, like, I don't like to ask for them. Not that it makes a difference, but, you know, if you ask for them, then you're disappointed if you don't get them. If you ask for something slightly more realistic, maybe, less likely to find yourself in, in as much of a self-devised uh, devised pinch, shall we say. As soon as we took Amnesia, this floor started seeming way too long. <laughs> Even though we basically just got started. Oh, it is the right direction, though. Gotta be a Tinted Rock on this room. I can't even see if that is a Tinted Rock, but I just... I was gonna say, I refuse to believe that there is not a Tinted Rock, and that was the only one that I hadn't uh, been able to devise. So, I'll, uh, I'll take it. The extra Spirit Hearts are nice. Conquest is not bad, honestly. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for a perfect time. To use blue candle. Nailed it! Thank god I didn't shoot for so long. Might have actually had the chance to do some damage to the enemy. Um, yeah, this... I mean, this is not great. I really feel like I need to keep blue candle. It's not, like, even a desire thing. It's, uh... I mean, I do want to keep it, but I feel like I need to keep it or I'm in a very, very tight spot, so... We're not gonna be taking white pony, as much as I think that it actually is a little bit underrated. We really should try to fire red candle in sync with these guys, because I think we could do more damage that way. We didn't even get a, a deal with the devil on offer, so... Uh, we're leaving, and really, thank god we got uh, pentagram and growth hormones early. Were it not for that and the relic, we would be screwed. The, it's really a case of, like, three items carrying us completely right now. So there's... it's a pretty... I don't know if this word applies here, it, but it, I think you know what I mean. It's like a pretty egalitarian floor. Let's put it this way. It's a pretty well-balanced floor. Um... I'm going to go with my usual logic, which is 
we're gonna go for the furthest end point, the furthest terminal away from where we are. There we go. And uh, expect the boss to be there. But we might be wrong. This is this is uh, a tricky one when it comes to that kind of map prediction here because everything is like almost equidistant from uh, our spawn point. But it worked out. Now, this guy's gonna come to our left. Where does he go? No, he Okay, he does go to our left when we enter a room here. Maybe like slightly to the right. And we came in through the bottom, so we should go to the full right. Okay, just to make sure that we don't dodge in a position that puts us in a weird spot. Doesn't matter, because it completely missed everything on its way up anyway. That's okay, though. We can use blue candle well here, and I think, you know, the, we're, we're playing very tactically and very intelligently, and it's leading to some... Uh, it, it's harm reduction strategy. You know, we're we're gonna take damage. Let's take as little as possible. I think it's a strategy that's working well for us right now. I did take damage there. That was me paying attention to where the enemy was instead of where the bullets were. Just rotate around, and then... Oh, I really thought that um, Blue Candle would have destroyed all those bullets. But that's okay. Honestly, I, I'm really happy we took Blue Candle. I mean, we didn't really have a... We didn't have to choose one or the other between Blue Candle or the map in the end, but I'm really glad we took Blue Candle. <laughs> Were it not for Blue Candle, I would have been very disappointed, I think, with the way that this run would look right now. So, there's no way I want to fight this room. Blue Candle or no Blue Candle, piercing shots or no piercing shots. If we have bombs and not incredible damage, I'm going to skip that room. There are sometimes you can finish that room, like, basically in the amount of time it takes for a bomb to go off. Give or take a, a few seconds on it. Um, this is not one of those times. And we can be reasonably confident that our boss is going to be over here. So we'll just... Oh, I really thought we were going to get out of that one. But I guess, you know, on the bright side, taking damage against uh, Pestilence on the Cathedral is exactly the same as taking damage against Pestilence on the first floor of the game. So I'm not going to sweat it. It's not like we, we face a double penalty or anything like that for getting hit. It's the same as getting hit by anything, including our own bomb. But that's okay. I expect the relic to pay out here. Also expect this to be one of the more difficult rooms we face on the cathedral. Really, really should have just bombed my way out of it. Single red heart. Okay. Not thrilled with the single red heart. Not thrilled with the tinted rocks we've had on this run. I mean, I feel like this run is not doing a good job of displaying the hardships that it's putting me through. Because we got the relic and we have okay damage, like not literally abysmal damage. Oh, thank you Liberty Cap for putting uh, that stuff on our map. Nick let me know that uh, if Liberty Cap ever puts like markers on your map, they stay there if you have the map. Which is actually, it's, it's not really like useful to apply, like I don't think you can plan strategy around it. But uh, it's useful to know to explain, like, whoa, why do I have, like, vision here? If Liberty, if you have the map and Liberty Cap ever shows you where things are, you will always know where things are without having to, like, constantly recheck. Um, it's cool. It's a nice little tidbit. I know Nick's into those. Uh, sounded like I was making a, a, a slight at him or something. You know, you know Nick, he's into those little tidbitty things. He's not a big picture sort of guy. That's not the way I meant it in the least. Um, but yeah, this run has been difficult, man. Like, what you're not seeing the difficulty because the difficulty is in the things the game is not giving us. It hasn't given us much in the way of DPS. Uh, Blue candle accepted, really, and the pentagram and growth hormones. But I digress. It also has not given us um, great defensive items. It gave us great defensive item in the form of the relic. Um, it also gave us the worst rotation of tinted rocks I think I've ever seen. We only, to the best of my knowledge, we have three tinted rocks. One paid out with one spirit heart. One paid out with a troll bomb and a key. And one paid out with a silver chest or an iron chest, a regular chest, whatever you want to call it. That um, gave us a full red heart or a half red heart. It doesn't really matter because we're playing as blue baby. Um, we also, oh my god, how have I not been hit on this room? Got some of the worst item rooms I've ever seen. Simply by the fact that they were all not very good space bar items. Like almost every single one of our... Ah, uh, finally we got hit. Almost every single one of our item rooms gave us a spacebar item we didn't really want. And if you think that I'm exaggerating that, just keep in mind the spacebar item we're using right now is uh, an item we got from the shop. I also feel like every other spacebar item we got was an item we got from the shop. So that should tell you how good our item rooms have been, considering they were all within that category and still are useless. Um, we're down to five 
spirit hearts. Sorry, six spirit hearts. Obviously, that's not really where I want to be. But we have the the game has a chance for redemption, and we have a chance for uh, greatness here. Please, what are you like two hits away? There we go. Um, just give me a couple of good items, some relic payouts, and that's it. No curse is a good start. As far as I'm I'm concerned, that's a good item payout. Okay, we got some shit. Uh, Nod Leaf allows us to live. Anemic is not good. Scissors is worse. Little Chubby is okay. I think it's shrewd for us. I know people are gonna hate it. I think it's shrewd for us to do this right now. Man, if only we had like one offensive orbital. Um, just, we wanna kill them. I need to wait for them to be in, like, one position so I can hit them with both with Blue Candle at the same time. Okay. I, like, I really don't want to do the Nod Leaf strat because it's boring and I hate it. But I did, I popped the Sun card early because I was like, well, we might as well get on the right track from the get-go, right? We might as well not go in the wrong direction at all, which we could have done here. But I, I was pretty confident as to where the boss room would be, but whatever. Um, this is, it's not so bad. We took one hit on this room. If we have to do full-on, you know, Nod Leaf BBF on the uh, Blue Baby fight, so be it. Of course, we get our Yara rune one room after it would uh, would have given us double the items. That's why you should never open the items on the chest until you're about to fight Blue Baby. That is terrible advice, and I'm joking. Okay. Half Red Heart. That's exciting. Can we skip? No, we cannot skip Big Room. So, we might as well just not even skip this room. This room could actually be good for us. One blue candle. Did quite a number on sloth there. Oh, Super sloth, I should say. And we get a tarot card. The magician. Classic. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this room is actually one of the rooms that might be best to nod leaf. But we're also fast enough. We should oh, mostly be able to get out of the way. Well, we're invincible right now. We should just go to town. Um, the reason I say that it's, it might be best to not leave this room is because most of the enemies will die in, like, a hit or two at most. We should get a spirit heart from you. Thank you. Even though I don't think I killed you last. Got a key as well. HP's holding out. Could be better, of course. But, uh... Oh, my God. Fucking... Tractor Beam Brain is annoying the shit out of me, man. He's sucking all my tears into him. Well, if you want him, you know, come and claim him, you taunt card son of a bitch. This is a good room. This is the best room. Uh, well, it's not literally the best room. Probably like 12 Spiders is the best room. Also a great uh, Bruce Willis Brad Pitt film. Um... But for now, I'm, I'm maintaining an unusual radio silence because I really don't want to lose focus. Honestly, the haunt is one of those rooms that gets a lot easier with time as well, I feel. So I'm not displeased with this room. It's funny, you know, the haunt versus fistula on early floors, it's like 50-50. It's like a crapshoot, I feel. Um, on the chest, I would rather fight the haunt than fistula 100 times out of 100. I don't know what I'm going to Yara. I probably should have Yara to Spirit Heart or something. Instead, I'm just going to end up using it for nothing. But I will say, uh, and by using it for nothing, I mean not using it. But I will say that we were pretty smart, I feel, to to not take Suicide King. Like, I would have loved to have gotten nine lives. And if I got nine lives, I probably would have used Suicide King. I mean, it's easy to say that when we don't actually have to go through with it. But that's the game's, you know, prerogative to not give me Suicide King. So I don't have to go through with it. But uh, I've used Suicide King before. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Like, some, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it doesn't. It always does what it's supposed to do. Got a 100% uh, effectiveness at, at ending your goddamn life. Um, for now, though, we're just gonna keep moving. Trying to land that blue candle shot with a little bit more deliberateness than uh, than is always the case for me. They're landing pretty well. You know, you want it to be slowing down or stopping, at least, uh, in the... In the hitbox of the enemy. That was a great bounce. That worked out super nicely for us. Might as well pop the cherry and finish this off. That was, uh, it was not an easy run. But weirdly enough, you know, 
it's ending looking like it was easier than it was. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.